Hello! Today is a great day for Old Testament Tuesday. It's March 26, 2024, and we are so glad you're listening to the Biblically Centered Kids podcast. This is Mr. Johnny. And Miss Danica. And this week we are on to Virtue M, which says, We maintain peace, letting the Spirit lead our hearts and minds. And just like Mr. Johnny said, today is Old Old Testament Testament Tuesday. So, we will be reading stories from the Old Testament in the Bible that illustrate this week's biblical family virtue. We love reading from the Bible because it's the book God gave us that tells us all about Him. When we read it, we can discover what He's done in the past and then learn what He has to say to us today. I can't wait to dive into God's Word where we find absolute truth, godly wisdom, and the unchanging promises of our Creator. How do you feel about love stories? Do you like them? Well, we have one for you today, and it's from the book of Genesis, and it's about Isaac and Rebekah. If you remember from your Bible, Isaac is the son of Abraham, who God established his covenant with in the Old Testament. Abraham had a very important wish for his son, Isaac. He wanted Isaac to marry someone who shared their deep faith in the true God and good virtues, not someone from Canaan where they lived, which had different beliefs from them. Abraham knew it was important for Isaac's future wife to help carry on their special relationship with God. Abraham remembered his brother Nahor's family back in the land of Haran, far to the north. They were people of strong faith, and he'd wondered if maybe, just maybe, the perfect wife for Isaac could be found there. Usually a father might send his son on such an important quest, but Abraham worried that if Isaac went, he might never come back. God had big plans for them in Canaan, and staying there was part of the deal. So Abraham asked his most trusted servant, Eliezer, to make a promise. Please go to Haran and find a wife for Isaac from my family, Abraham requested. If the girl agrees, bring her back. But if she doesn't, you're free from your promise. Help my family maintain peace and allow God to lead your heart and mind on this mission. Eliezer set off on a long journey with 10 camels and lots of gifts, hoping to find the right lady. But how would he know who she was? Believing in Abraham's God, Eliezer prayed for help. He asked God to show him a sign. At the town well, where all the young women gathered, he would ask for a drink. The right girl, he hoped, would not only offer him water, but also offer to water his camels, showing her kindness and generosity. And guess what? God listened to Eliezer's prayer, and along came Rebekah, who did exactly as Eliezer hoped. She was kind, brave, and didn't hesitate to help a stranger and his thirsty camels. Eliezer knew then that God had led them to Rebecca. To show his gratitude, he gave her gifts of gold. Rebecca, excited by the tale of how Eliezer found her, felt that maybe this was all part of a bigger plan. When she learned that God's guidance was on this journey, she bravely said, I will go. This decision wasn't just smart. It showed that she was ready to follow where her faith led her. Meanwhile, Isaac was waiting back home, probably feeling a mix of excitement and nerves. When he finally saw Rebecca approaching, it was love at first sight. was thankful for his father Abraham seeking out who God wanted him to marry and he was thankful for Eliezer who allowed God to lead him to the right woman and this story isn't just a love story it's about listening and letting God guide our choices by trusting in God Abraham Isaac Eliezer and Rebecca all play their part in a plan much bigger than themselves it teaches us that when we let the spirit lead amazing things can happen just like in this beautiful story of faith, bravery, and love. Let's pray. God, we are thankful that you speak to us today. 
thank you for giving us examples of how to trust your guidance. Help us to seek you in our big and small decisions. We know that following you results in peace. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Today's story reminds us that God does have a plan for our lives. It's up to us to seek him on what that is. Don't forget to tell your mom or dad to visit biblicallycentered.com for some free downloads on biblically centered virtue. We are so glad that you joined us in the Old Testament today, learning all about listening to God's leading. You will never regret trusting where God leads you. Until next time.